Hello everyone, Mr. G Squared here, and thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial video. This is a video on Windows and downgrading Windows. Now the purpose of my downgrade is to get the, at the time of this recording, the Windows 10 upgrade is still free. So I will be downgrading my version of Windows 7 Enterprise to Windows 7 Pro and completing the Windows 10 upgrade on Windows 7 Pro. Now the downgrade that I'm going to do, you can do it on a lot of different versions of Windows. You can do it on Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. I've confirmed all the registry keys are the same and I've tested it on each of those versions on both sets of bit structures. So let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, we're going to open up our registry. We're going to do that with regedit. There we go. Alright, now there are two locations, depending on your bit structure, that this key these two keys need to be changed. There are two keys that we need to change in here. One of them is located in the H key, local machine key. So we're going to go ahead here and expand that. Software. All right. And we're going to scroll down here to Microsoft. And we've got to find Windows NT. There we go. And we click on current version. Now there are two registry keys in here. You see one is called uh, what is this edition id yep and the other one is called product name and as you can see these are both in with enterprise so we're going to change both these keys to say professional and this one we will say windows 7 professional there we go now this is if you were doing this on a 32-bit machine this is where you would change it if you're running a 32-bit now, in order to do a 64-bit machine, we need to go, it's pretty much the same path. We're going to go to H key, local machine. We're going to go to software. Go, software, yep. And now we're going to scroll down here to WoW 6432 node. Open up Microsoft and come back to Windows NT and current version again. And we see both the keys in here and because we are running a 64-bit machine. I'm going to go ahead and update both these keys here as well. Professional and professional. Okay, there we go. Alright, now that has been completed, we are going to cut over here to when we have put in our Windows 7 Pro CD. Now, I am actually going to be doing this using a virtual directory and an ISO image, but it's the exact same thing. All right, here we are. We've hit install now. And what we're doing, it's uh, going ahead and doing its thing. It's doing its temp file copying. <clears throat> this is uh, the process that takes probably the most amount of time during a downgrade. I mean, obviously, during a downgrade. And in this video, this is the process that took the most time as well, from our downgrade to our upgrade. All right, we are going to click not to bother checking for updates because it doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and agree to the licensing terms and hit next. Then we're going to hit upgrade. So now that we've hit upgrade, it's going to check through a compatibility report. This part uh, does sometimes take a little while here, so let's wait for this to finish. Okay, and our compatibility report has finally come up here, and pretty much all this is asking for, it's just letting you know that, hey, some of this stuff might not be here in our case, it's going to be the language pack. So let's go ahead and just click next. There we go, and the process has started. It's, it takes a little bit of time here, so we are going to have a jump in the recording. It will reboot a few times. We're going to go ahead and jump to when this is all finished, and we will be sitting back on our Windows desktop verifying that the downgrade from Enterprise to Windows 7 Pro has completed. Alright, and here we are. As you can see, we are now running Windows 7 Professional, meaning the downgrade has worked. Because if you would have checked this before we did the uh, the actual upgrade process, this would have still said Windows 7 Enterprise in our state. So. That has worked, and now we're going to jump on over here to our Windows 10 install. And what we're going to use to do the upgrade is the Media Creation Tool. That is a tool developed by Microsoft for the Windows 10 upgrade. That what it, And what it does is it basically bypasses Windows Update. It, it, it's an EXE file. It's built for 32 and 64 bits. Make sure you download the right version. 
And what it does, it basically just goes out to their site, downloads the Windows 10 upgrade installation file straight to your machine, and begins the process. So, that is what we're going to be watching now. Okay, and as you can see, we have two options here. One is upgrade this PC now, the other is create installation media for another PC. So, like, if you wanted to, you know, put it on a disc, that type of thing. We're just going to use upgrade this PC now. And now, this process takes a little bit of time because it goes ahead on out there and it does its download, <laughs> obvious enough. So, we will have a little jump cut here and we'll see you when it's done. Alright, so that has finally finished and now we are on the Windows 10 setup. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the accept button to the license terms. And now what it is going to do is do a little check for updates, make sure that it is actually everything that it needs. It pulls any updates down, the way that I understand this anyway, it pulls updates down onto your PC that your PC might be missing. Um, and it'll force reboots and you have to go through the whole process again. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just have a little jump cut here. And then we will get to where it is done with the updates. All right, so here we are. We are sitting at ready to install. We got everything checked. We're just gonna hit install. Piece K. All right, and that's pretty much it. What we're gonna do, it's a. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. It's gonna reboot a couple times. It says so right there. Your PC will reboot several times. This might take a while, and it does. It's not lying to you. But we're gonna have a jump cut here right to the end when our Windows 10 Pro is installed and successfully activated. So let's go ahead and cut there now. All right, here we are. As you can see, we are running Windows 10 Pro now, which is great. And the update has been completed because of our downgrade earlier on in this video. So if you guys like this, please let me know. Let me Give me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. If you really like this and you'd like to see some more of these technical style videos, please let me know that as well. And uh, give me some tips. Give me, let me know... You know, what you guys want to see. I'm sure I'd be very willing to make it for you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.